in this session we are going to talk about listing development branding packaging and we are also going to talk about insert cards so in today's video we are going to discuss about some principles and some guidelines regarding the product listing like we have discussed in the session number two where we learned that how to make the ideal customer persona how to do research about that how to find out what are their desires, what are their needs, what are their problems, what are their goals and what are their values. Now we need to put effort to make our listing copy, our uh, listing images and on top of these two things, our product in such a way that it caters the problems or it caters the desired part of the ideal customer persona. This is a very important concept to understand that whatever need or whatever is the motivation for your ideal customer persona behind purchasing the product, you should depict that in a very clear way, in a very meaningful way through your images and through your copy. Now your listing may not resonate with your, uh, with anyone who's not your ideal customer persona and they can see, or they can pass a comment that this is a professional photo or this is a, a professional copywriting. They would stay up till this stage only, but someone who is your ideal customer persona, who is your ICP, uh, your images and the message you are trying to convey through your images and through your listing copy, they will resonate with that. They will kind of, uh, make a bonding with that part that this is what I'm looking for exactly. This is all what we can label as our expected outcome after we are done with the content and the images part. Now, how does this flow work? You need to write down all the pain points, desires and wants of your ideal customer persona. You need to write those down. And then in the second step, you need to write down all the, your product features, which cater your customers desires and pain points. Create images which highlight the features of your product and then uh, create the copy, the content copy, which mirror whatever you have shown in your images. So basically the bullet points or the content and the images, both should be mirrored of each other. What you are showing in your image, that should be in a written form in your bullet point. Now here, if you have done the product development and you show that in your images and you write that down in your content copy, that is going to make you stand out as compared to your competitors because yeah, people can compete you in images and maybe the content. But if you are showing a feature on which you have spent maybe one or two months for which you have put effort to develop a different mold, a different design altogether. And that is what the customers are loving as well as compared to a common copy paste product. Then that's definitely going to stand you out as compared to your competitors. Whenever you find out that your listing is converting poorly and your sales are low, uh, most of the times, I would say around 90% of the times, the issue is in three things. Either your product is not good, which means uh, all the session two and session three learning part in which we focused on developing something or adding a new feature and then validating that point as well. Even if it, it's simple change in design or it's improving the customer experience by adding some imprinting or by changing uh, whatever crafting we have done on the product, even if it's that uh, stick to that point as well, still uh the first reason is the product which we have catered which we have tried to cater i would say in the session two and session three uh, and then the second reason is uh your listing copy possible reason and then the third possible reason is your listing images um i would say around 90 percent of the times these three are the reasons in which you should explore if your conversion is poor and your sales are low that's all for the first video uh, i'll see you soon in the second one till then goodbye